Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ Matavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So in this one we are doing, as even the title, uh, 1016 B2, which is a conic section question, uh, also requested in this comment here. So let's read through quickly and then we'll uh, push on. So the image on the right shows the hotel located beside the River Shannon in Limerick. Two views of the architectural model of a similar structure are shown in the 3D graphic below. Uh, outline projection of the structure is given. The plan is based on an ellipse uh, reflecting the city's rugby tradition. Top of the structure is parabolic as indicated by the curve ABC in elevation. B is the vertex of the parabola. Uh, one side of this structure has been shaped to produce a flat vertical surface as shown. So part A, draw the given plan and elevation of the structure. B, project an end view and then we're doing the true shape of the band. So a bit of a conics question here. So let's look at the, it says, what's our height? So we have a scale, one is to 100, so be careful of the scales. Well, you're obviously not going to try and draw it at 12 meters in height, but just be uh, be careful of the scale, make sure you draw it right. Might start off with the plan first, do the ellipse, because then we can draw it up and we we'll figure out where to put our end view, distance off our end view. So the ellipse, we have the minor radius, or the minor diameter is six meters, and we know the major is 10. So that's the plan is a straightforward ellipse. Just divide up your um, your meters to get your measurements. I'm going to start that nice and low as well. And also we need to do plan first so we get the distance, a 1.5 meter distance between the plan and the X, Y line. So we'll start off with the ellipse down here, down low. So our radiuses are 30 and 40, uh, 30 and 50, sorry, so 30 and 50. Now make them, keep them nice and light because you are going to be going over where the elevation with some of it. So going from the major to the minor, etc. So using conic sectors, uh, using the concentric circles method, divide up 30, 60, find your range of points and draw the ellipse in freehand lightly. So the straight edge over here is 20 mil in, which is actually at the edge of the mini circle there. So that's our straight edge. So that is the plan done. And we know that our X1 or XY line is 15 mil above the ellipse here. So mark that in. That's the plan done. So let's draw that ellipse in strong and We'll move on then to the elevation. So the elevation is straightforward enough for just projecting up from the plan. Uh, you have your height set again in meters, and and it said ABC is um, a parabolic curve with the vertex at B. So once we mark in part A, just divide up the heights and the even number of parts, draw on your parabola, and so on. So we, let's get to that stage. So it's up 14 meters to get the base of that, and then the parabola is four meters in height. So let's draw this in. Okay, so there's parts, uh, points A and B marked in. So what I'm going to do is divide up the height and equal number of parts, divide the width into an equal number of parts as well. So we have 40 and 5. So let's divide up into 5 uh, five parts to give us a nice accurate curve. Uh, and it'll be handy measurements as well. We don't have to go divide up the line equal parts. So I'm going to divide the base uh, in every 10 mil and the height by every uh, uh, 8 mil. Now remember, parabolas, the heights get drawn back to the vertex B. and the lengths get drawn straight up. And where the first line meets the first line, gives you a point, second line meets second, etc. So draw it in freehand lightly first, and then we use axle symmetry to project it over to the right hand side. Now I haven't put in part C, or point C over here, but I did make sure that we crossed, make sure we got points and we crossed past the right hand, eye, right hand side edge here. Because you can't just do this point here and again guess your curve down. It has to be accurate. 
So that's our parabolic curve on the right hand side up to the edge. And the part A was just draw the given plan elevation of the structure. So that's done. So I'm going to draw that elevation in strong now. Now hopefully you can see the top of the structure now. So uh, recording that there, I don't think you can see it, but uh, if it's straightforward enough in parabola. Again, this is, as I mentioned in a previous video, this is like the June strip method where you have the height and you have the width and you divide it up into parts to find your parabolic curve. So let's move on to part two. So part, sorry, part B. Part B says projecting in view in direction arrow E. So that is going to be straightforward enough. Okay, and I'm going to use the edge here of the ellipse as the edge of my view. Okay, so projecting in view, so we bring our heights over from the from the elevation. I was going to bring over the main ones first. So the full height here, which is already done actually. A, bring that over as well. And let's bring over the main ones of the ellipse for the time being. So when you're doing an in view, looking in this direction here, looking in from the left hand side, projecting over to the right hand side. And what we're going to see is this elliptical curve is sloping down in that parabolic curve down here to the bottom left. So we're actually going to see the full or that half an ellipse there with a bit of hidden detail at the back. So all we need to do is find a range of points on the outer edges and then project them over here to the end view. Now, rather than going uh, using that 3060 using these points, I'm going to use the points that I found here for the parabola. Okay, I'm going to use those points because we already have the heights up. So we bring those heights across and if we bring those points down to cut through our ellipse, we can project those points across and up. So I'll do one first just to highlight what I'm doing and then we'll uh, I'll fast forward through the rest because it's always going to be the same. So this first one here, bring that height across. Project it down then to the plan and show where it cuts your ellipse on both sides. Which is here and here. Not forgetting that this is also point A here. We have B and B1. Let's call this C and C1 as well, which will be here. So project those points from the plan over here to the edge. Project them up to the end view, 45 degrees. Then all you need to do then is project them straight up. And where they cross the line you brought over from the elevation, that's the height. So just looking here, we already have A actually, bring that across. This is point A. And now we call this one, two, three, and four. And this is point one on the left hand side and point one on the right hand side. So that's all we're doing. We are projecting points down to the these four points here, down to where it cuts the ellipse, and then where it cuts the ellipse bring them across to the end view. And we'll do the same with points two, three, and four now, and we'll do the same with the back as well. Um, actually, you know, they'll be behind each other. So we'll just go check these up, and I'll fast forward through the section. So I'm gonna do points two, three, and four now in B, and I'll fast forward. So that's our points. We have point one is on there, then we do two, three, four, and back up to B. And I just use axis symmetry again to project it over to the right-hand side. Now, last thing we do need to bring up is our points C. So C here needs to be brought up and across and shown where we'll see that hidden detail of the straight line at the back. Because remember, we have the straight rectangular surface at the back. And then that is the end view done. So bring across point C now and then draw in strong. Now, so that is part B done. So project the end view and direction arrow E. All right, so that is our end view done. Now you only see the hidden detail of the rectangle because you won't see the hidden detail of the back of the curve because it's symmetrical. It's right behind the front of it. So you won't see that. So that's all we have there. Now part C, an architectural feature in the form of steel band is to be constructed around the outside of the structure shown in 3D graphic. VT and HT are the traces of the inclined cutting plane used to define the position and shape of the steel band. Determine the true shape of the intersection between the structures 
and climb complaint. Uh, not necessarily show the seal band. Okay, so first things first, let's put in our VT and our HT. And we'll need to show the end view here. We need to show the plane cutting through and to show where the steel band is going. So let's put in the HD and the VT in our elevation and plan first. Now I just need to adjust slightly there so you can get the HT and VT. So our VT is both here and the HT is in the plan. Now if it is if it is a if your traces are horizontal lines in elevation plan then it's I didn't even say that it's a simply inclined plane, so just resting up uh, against the um, vertical plane at the top there. So we need to show that now in our end view. So what we're going to do is bring it over to the edge of our view here and project it up to the end view here on the XY line. VT then, that is the vertical trace at the top here because what you're doing is you're seeing an edge view of the vertical plane and an edge view of the horizontal plane. So this is on the horizontal plane, so it's going to give you a point view of the HT, so it'll give you a point view of the VT. So this is our edge here of the planes. That's where the end view starts. So this is actually the point view of the VT. And if I bring across, if I bring across the HT at 45 degrees here from the edge. So that's giving me a point view here of the HT. So to show how it's cutting through, let's join them together. And that is the edge view of the inclined plane that is cutting through giving you the steel band so we need to find the true shape of the cut that we're doing here so what we're going to do is get a true shape we need to project up perpendicular to our edges here and i might have to end up adding on another sheet but we're going to go perpendicular so it's cutting through this point here and because we're going from the end view we're going to get our distances from the plan i might put in a datum line there at c1 so we're going from this direction to get our heights so Let's see if it's a simple angle, probably not. No. So what I'm going to do is project perpendicular to our uh, inclined plane here and where it cuts all our lines. So I'm going to do maybe one side to do axis symmetry again. So where it cuts all the projection lines there, it will show you where it's cutting the surface, cutting the curve. So each one of these points needs to be brought up and projected up. Okay, so we project up our points now. Most of them appear on the left hand side, and I'm putting in a and I'm putting in a datum line at CC1 here because I'm going to get my measurements from there. So where it cuts C and C1, so project those, find those which is our hidden detail lines here. So that is going to be on the X1 Y1, and on the opposite side here, I didn't project it up. That's out of the point C. So that's the true shape of the straight line so far. So now let's go and work on the opposite side here. So we need to design the distance form for B. We'll do one, two, uh, three, four, and so on. And let's work on that. Just checking something there. Uh, you're cutting these are conic sections and normally if you're cutting through a cylinder at an angle It gives you an ellipse uh, or a cone. It's going to give you um, a parabola hyperbola, etc So in this case we have an ellipse or elliptical structure and we're cutting through it at an angle now I just check in there. So I found my point C's That's my points for C. I find my height here for B mark that in that's B and B1 Find my height. I find my height here for A and then just to check this is the center point and I threw in the height there for the center point C and it has actually turned out to be a perfect circle. So if I put the pin of the compass at the center, the lead at one of the points, in this case B, it is actually cutting through, not to do it right, cutting through A and B here and back down to our point C. So that's a perfect circle. So we don't need to go mark in our heights here and get an extra height. So I'm just gonna draw that in now. And that's part C done. So that's the true shape of the intersection between the cutting plane and the structure. So a little conic sections question there. And that's it finished. 
so as always, as always i hope this little tutorial helped and um if it did please leave a like give us a bit of feedback on the questions and also don't forget to subscribe so you know when i upload so as always best of luck in your exams and we'll see you in the next one